Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Monday, October 20th, 2014. Thank you all for tuning in. So what you're going to see here is that the futures are trading lower by about two points this morning. They were down much more earlier, but they have come back a little bit. So futures right now are trading down two points to 18.79.5 per contract, and we'll see where this market plays out. Markets did have a big rally on Friday. We'll see if they can continue with the strength. But right off the bat, we got to start off with IBM. IBM today definitely weighing on the markets. You're going to see the stock is getting absolutely annihilated. The stock closed at $182.05. It is now trading at $169.50. This is a stock we will be looking to play today in the intraday stock chat room. So come on over, take a seven-day free trial. You'll see how we navigate through these waters and we look to play IBM this morning. But the stock, nonetheless, is getting taken to the woodshed this morning before the opening bell. IBM trading down about 7%. That's a pretty sheep, sharp decline. And uh, we will look to play this stock a little bit later today. But keep it on the radar. We have levels already worked out for IBM today. All right, we're going to start off uh, with Halliburton. Halliburton is also in the news today. Stock is trading higher. It's, clo it's uh, now trading at $54.60. It closed at $52.60. I'm going to give Halliburton the upside bias here to around $57.75. I don't know if it's going to get up there today, but that's where I am seeing um, very good resistance on the equity. So um, we're going to give it a slight upside bias from here, but um, not all that much uh, to go. But either way, Halliburton is trading up decently. Watch that 57.75 level if it does get up there. That's a spot where Halliburton could stall out. Let's take a look at VFC, VF Corp. Um, this is the maker of that, that uh, uh, snow gear and, and, and other apparel. Uh, the stock right now is trading at 61.46. Uh, closed at 63 dollars and 76 cents so it is this stock is definitely getting hit today a level i have for this one today keep it on your radar is 58 dollars and 31 cents 58 31 if the stock gets down there that's your buy signal uh for an intraday scalp play on vf corp so keep that level on the radar let's now move over to sap what you're going to see here uh, the stock closed at 68.99 on Friday. It is now trading at 66.50. So SAP is getting hit as well. I believe I do have some gap levels for the stock. Yes, I do. So we'll be looking to trade this one today in the intraday stock chat. And again, come over, take a seven-day free trial. We've been knocking the gap plays out of the park each and every day. But SAP is on the radar. This is an equity we will look to play today. Let's take a look at Hasbro S. Uh, HAS is the ticker symbol here. Right now, the stock is trading at 53.75. Um, not seeing anything tremendously great or bad at this moment in time. I think this was a fake print this morning. But one level I will give you today: if the stock trades down to $50.60, and it very well could, that is a level where you would be interested in a quick scalp play. So keep that on the radar: $50.60. That's a level where you would look for a bounce play on Hasbro today as a day trade. Uh, let's move over to NCR. <clears throat> Stock right now is getting hammered to the downside. It closed at $29.87. So NCR definitely getting uh, smacked around today. This is another equity we will be looking to play as a gap. So again, if you want these levels, come on over to the chat room. Take a seven-day free trial. The levels will be posted up at 9 a.m., which is still about 15 minutes from now. So, again, NCR uh, definitely getting hit this morning, but we will look to play this stock today in the intraday stock chat room, and um, we'll see how it uh, all shakes out and plays out going forward. But this is another equity that is coming under some severe pressure uh, before the opening bell today. So, we will be keeping this one on the radar. Um, there is some news out there on Yahoo. Let's take a look at the stock. Looks like they're going to do some type of uh, at least the announcement is some new cost-cutting efforts. I'm not sure what we can make out of it, but nonetheless, um, we'll see how it plays out. Yahoo right now is trading at $38.65, basically right where it closed. Only level I'm really seeing for Yahoo that really gets me excited would be around 33.41, and that's still a long way down, so I don't expect that to come into play today. But nonetheless, Yahoo um, could will be a stock that will be moving around today, and we may be looking to navigate uh, or trade this equity today at some point. Uh, Apple also came out with news today. They're going to roll out this Apple Pay service this morning. Um, this is that uh, 
little pay service that is in their telephone. So again, Apple Pay is coming out today. That could be a little bit of a catalyst for Apple to move around. Right now, the stock is trading at 98.43. It closed at 97.67. So again, Apple will be in somewhat of a range. But um, depending on the pattern, once the intraday market opens up, you know, Apple's a stock we will keep on our radar to potentially play throughout the course of the trading day. So we'll keep that on the on the watch list, and we'll see where it goes. Microsoft is also in the news today. Uh, looks like they're coming out with a smart watch. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a big mover or a driver for the stock to catch a bid or a sell-off. But either way, um, Microsoft could be in play today once the opening bell rings. Let's do a futures check. Futures are trading lower by $2.75 at the moment, and uh, we'll see where they play out. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold is soaring today. I don't want to say soaring. I shouldn't use that word. But gold is definitely catching a big big bid. It's up about seven points right now to around 12.46 an ounce. Let's go to the GLD. And what you'll see here with the GLD, it's trading right around 119.73. It closed at 118.99. So you can see GLD reflecting that little pop in gold today. Gold was up even a little bit more. As you can see, the GLD topped 120 today before pulling back. I think gold looks fine right now. I don't think there's really any problems. I don't think it's going to be a huge mover one way or the other at the moment, but I do think uh, gold is holding up pretty well. Light sweet crude futures are trading up 30 cents right now to $82.36 a barrel. Let's move over to the USO. USO right now is trading around $31.27. This is a good way to trade light sweet crude. Uh, this did close at 31.25 on Friday. So all in all, getting a little bit of an uptick. Again, I see very little downside on crude, on crude at this point in time. So um, I'm going to give it a slight upside bias at the moment. Again, futures right now are trading down two and a half points. Um, we're going to have a pretty volatile market today. Uh, as we talked about, IBM was the uh, leading stock out here. This is definitely weighing on the Dow Jones. IBM, remember the Dow is a price cap weighted index. So the bigger uh, Dow stock is, the more weight it carries. And IBM, I think, is the uh, second or third largest stock in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Visa is number one. So uh, this stock definitely will be in play today. And again, we're going to have some other gap plays as well. So come on over to the intraday stock chat. Take a seven-day free trial and uh, see how we navigate through these uh, turbulent, vol volatile waters of the stock market. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day. And we will see you on the charts.